all. 2022, we defeated him. He went to court. The Supreme Court made a decision. Again, now he is back. He has brought violence. He has brought destruction of property to intimidate President William Ruto and I to bring him into government. He is trying to come to government through blackmail. He is trying to blackmail us into talks. I want to confirm to the people of Kenya that the government shall not give in to blackmail. And nobody will come to power through violence. And I want to say for the avoidance of doubt, this issue of the cost of food is not the real issue. Because when Raida Odinga was in government through the handshake arrangement with Uru Kenyatta, Unga was 230 shillings. He did not demonstrate, he did not raise an issue. Unga has now come down to 175 and 180. That is not the real issue. The violence that is being unleashed against the people of Kenya by Raila Odinga is trying to force us to enter into a handshake and bring him to government through the back door. I want to say from Kangocho, here in Nyeri, the land of freedom fighters, that it is not possible for him to come to government through the back door. There is no constitutional provision whatsoever to bring Raida to the government. And I want to say, when he called for these demonstrations, he was aware there are no demonstrations in Kenya that has ever been peaceful. It's about violence and destruction of property. Since he started these demonstrations, no business has taken place in the Nairobi business district. Property has been destroyed. Juzi ameeda kibra, ame insaitu watu, ame choma muskiti. Ame insaitu watu, ame choma kanisa. Whatever he has been, he has left a tale of destruction of property. I want to assure the people of Kenya that tomorrow, Kenyans should go to work and open their businesses. The government has made elaborate and adequate arrangements to protect life and property. The government has a constitutional mandate to protect life and property of the rich and the powerful. Equally, the same government has an obligation to protect the life and property of ordinary Kenyans, property being destroyed under instigation of the rich and the powerful. The government will protect both the rich and the powerful and also the ordinary Kenyans. And we want to ask those rich and powerful people to know that getting property is a difficult thing. They may demean these more people.